Okay, so I'm going to talk you through how to use the Feldspar Ternary Classification Diagram. There's a YouTube video showing you how to download this example from Read the Docs. Very simply, go to Read the Docs, scroll down on the left until you see this, click on NB Viewer and click the download button, watch the other video if you don't know how, click here and also press the download button. Get them into your downloads and then copy them across into a folder on your computer that you want to work with. So this is what I've done. And this is basically what you're going to see. So you can see this is now in my folder, YouTube narration. So these ternary plots do require an additional package by Mark Harper called Python ternary. If you have another Python package called ternary installed, so you've used it for something else, you will have a problem because they have the same name basically. So you will have to um, uninstall ternary uh, through pip uninstall ternary or however you installed it and then reinstall this package python ternary. If you haven't done this before, um, try running it. If it doesn't work and you get an error, uncomment this and run uh, basically exclamation mark pip install python ternary. And that should all work out fine, but please let me know by email if it doesn't. So just going to check, I now have ternary installed and I'm on version 1.0.8. You may well be on a more recent version. We're then going to um, import uh, matplotlib, numpy and pandas. Again, as in the other videos, if you haven't installed fermobar, you're going to want to do so here. So like this, you only need to do this once on each computer. So I can comment this out because I already have it installed. Okay, and now we're going to load in the data. So we use the PT import Excel function. We give the name of the Excel spreadsheet, which you would have downloaded from Read the Docs watching that video. So you can see this here. And just quickly what this looks like is you have paired plage and case bar analyses. So you have the sample names. You then have the silica content of the case bar, the aluminum content of the case bar, the silica content of the plage, etc. And you are telling Thermobar which one is which using these underscore plage underscore case bar. So we're going to load that in. My input contains all of your columns. Uh, case bars and plages only includes the columns which have sort of that underscore case bar and underscore plage. What we should probably do is just inspect these quick just to check that they worked. You can use the head function and we'll do the same for plages. So we're going to run this and then you can see what it has pulled out. These look like potassium feldspars, and these look like plagioclases. Okay, we then take these two variables, so case bars and plages, and we calculate basically the coordinates for a ternary plot. And we save these in these variables, plage underscore turn underscore plots. The other function we're going to use today is this plot feldspar classification. So this basically plots a ternary diagram and has already drawn the feldspar field on. So this is the very simplest diagram you can plot. You can then add arguments like labels equals true. So here we can see what this does is it labels the different fields. Say uh, you want to change what this reads. Uh, basically you can specify so the sanidine label by default is san. Here you can specify that you want it to be sanidine. You can add grid lines. So here we're adding major grid equals true. Here we're saying the major grid is true, um, but we actually want a different color. So we're specifying the color being magenta for that. You can also add minor grid lines. So here we've got the argument minor grid is true. And say you don't like these ticks on the side. Well, then you can just say, ticks equals false. So this is really, really customizable. You can go through and look at the options. Specifically, we can do that by going help PT. And you can see these are kind of all the things that you can change. So that can be useful if you wanted to look different from this example. Okay, so how we do is first we set up the plot using this plot first for classification and then whatever parameters you've decided you like. Then we're going to use the TX scatter function, and this is going to plot the plage ternary points, which we calculated up above, with a black edge, a triangle symbol, and a red colour, and we're going to label it plage. Similarly, we basically copy this and change it over to case bar ternary points, 
change the colours and the symbols, specify where we want the legend, so here in the upper left, and then we're going to save this figure as a PNG with a specified DPI. So that's, that's a figure you could put in a paper. Say uh, you want to colour the symbols by the uh, iron content of the plagiar clay, say that's something you want to do. Use the same scatter function, uh, instead you specify colour, and you can basically enter the original data frame which has your plagiars, and specify the iron total content of the plage. This basically just sets the colour bar, so it's going to be the same for both figures, so we're setting the colouring from the minimum value in the plage data frame to the maximum value in the case bar data frame, um, and same for sort of the uh, maximum value, and then you specify your size and your uh, colour map type. Again, we can save the figure. So here they're coloured by FEO. This TX scatter also allows you to set the size as a function of the plagioclase content. You might have to do a bit of multiplying to make these a reasonable size. But basically this uh, will again sort of show this as a different data visualisation.